Hello and welcome to this Price a Job tutorial. In this video we'll be taking a look at the Garden Sleepers module in Price a Job. To access the Garden Sleepers module, first navigate to the Landscaping category here in the Module Toolbar, and select Garden Sleepers, and click Create. And this opens the Garden Sleepers module. Garden Sleepers are also known as Railway Sleepers or Rail Wall Sleepers, due to the timber that is used, which is very much like railway ties. These designs can be used to create garden planters or retaining walls. For this example, let's set our wall length at 1.2 meters, and we'll set our wall height at 0.5. We have the option to set our rails either vertically or horizontally. Notice in the sketch that the rails are set vertically. If these rails were set horizontally, there would be a much wider bench seat here, rather than this narrow wall. However, with only two rails stacked high, it would be very short. So depending on your design and purposes, you can either set the rails for vertical or horizontal. Generally, the effect of setting them for horizontal will require the use of much more timber. We'll set our rails for vertical. Next, we can specify whether any excavation is required. If so, this opens a new stage for trench excavation. And here we can specify the approximate excavation volume. We'll say 4 cubic meters. And Price Job adds a new stage to our estimate here for trench excavation, with the labor for the excavation by hand assigned to a ground worker. If we choose, we can switch from hand excavation to machine, and Price Job gives us the option to select the machine for the excavation. In this case, a 1.5 ton excavator is recommended. We also have cog settings here, which we can use to adjust the productivity in cubic meters per hour. We can set the delivery and collection cost, and the fuel consumption per hour. This adds a plant and tool section to our trench excavation stage here in the estimate, which includes the excavator, the delivery and collection costs, as well as additional material for the diesel required. For this example, because of the small amount of excavation required, we'll simply select by hand. However, the disposal of soil must still be accounted for, and we can address that here in the disposal stage. Here we can select the load method, whether by machine or by hand, and Price Job automatically calculates the size of skip required to remove this volume of soil. In this example, an 8-yard skip would be required. Note that we'll only require 80% of an 8-yard skip, and if this were to be combined with any other modules with disposal, this skip would share duties. However, if this is the only module that requires disposal, we can round this up to one whole number. Under the COG settings, we can adjust the soil expansion rate. The default is set at 22%, which is the reason why our 4 cubic meters of excavation are anticipated to require about 4.88 cubic meters of disposal. If disposal of soil is not required, you can simply deselect the stage here, and it may be advantageous to add a note, soil disposal on site. And this will be added to our description. Next we can make adjustments to the actual garden sleeper itself. Here under the select box, we have options to select materials supplied by client, or we can set a materials allowance, or we can select from the garden sleeper rails provided. In this case we'll select oak rails. The quantity of rails required is automatically calculated, however if we anticipate any wastage or offcuts we can increase this if necessary. We can also click the accessories box here to open the price of job library, and this opens various categories of garden sleeper accessories, including additional garden sleepers, timber lock screws, nails, landscaping fabrics, hardcore, topsoil, shop sand, and screws. For this example, let's select some timber lock screws. We'll take a box of 200 millimeters, and we'll also need a roll of landscaping fabric. We'll take one roll of those, and perhaps some topsoil. We'll order a bulk bag of that, and if we need to, we can adjust the quantities. Perhaps we'll order a bit of extra soil. Next, we'll take a look at the decorating stage. Here we can specify which sides of the rail are to be decorated, either one long side, the short side, both long sides, both short sides, one long and one short, two long and one short, one long and two short, or all sides. In this case, we'll be thorough and we'll decorate all sides. Price of job calculates the total area at 2.88 square meters. Then we can specify the type of paint we'll be using, either gloss, oil, wood stain, or varnish. We'll be using a wood stain. And under the cog settings, we can adjust the wood stain coverage and number of coats to be applied. 
two coats should do fine, and the coverage of 10 square meters per liter is the general manufacturer's recommendation. We can consult the lid on the tub of our wood stain to see if we need to adjust this. And also for decoration, we can access the preparation library to identify if any tasks need to be done in order to prepare for the decoration. For example, filling holes and cracks, sand and fill, burn off paint, remove paint, wire brush, wet clean, pressure wash, or smoothing walls. We also have categories here for fillers, adhesives, sealants, primers and undercoats, gloss paints, wood stain, wood oil, and varnish. In this example, let's say that we have to perhaps burn off a bit of paint. And for this, we can set the area of coverage to two square meters. And this is added to our estimate under the decorating stage. Here we have the labor to burn off the paint. If multiple garden sleepers are required to be built, we can simply go to this module here in the sidebar and duplicate this one and retitle the second sleeper to help identify it, adjust our measurements as necessary, and make any other changes that may be required. Now we can go to the reports tab, and here under our quote, we can see that we have our initial garden sleeper as well as our additional garden sleeper front with a nice description of the job to be done and the grand total. If we'd like to show a little bit more description in the totals, we can increase the pricing levels to show subtotals for the module, or we can increase the subtotals to also show the breakdown of materials, labor, plant and tool, and other costs. If we choose to show an advanced quote, here we have options to display the full descriptions, materials, labor, plant and tool, and other costs. And if we wish, we can remove any of these. And we also have the options to conceal the price breakdown or the number of units. We can title our quote as either an estimate, a quote, a quotation, or a proposal. We'll call this one an estimate. And then we can either print out this quote, export it as a PDF, export it as a Word document, or email it directly from within Price a Job. And that's how to use the Garden Sleepers module. Thank you for using Price a Job.